I managed to start getting up at 6 a.m. consistently every single day for the past couple months by small, small, tiny little habits which take literally like five minutes of your day and I managed to do this overnight. And I'm gonna show you these three little habits that made this much of a change as well. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. First of all, I hope you've been good. I hope things have been all right. There are a lot of things I do in the morning now, you know, meditation, gratitude journaling, cold showers, all the typical self-improvement stuff. But if I'm thinking about the top three that actually got me out of bed consistently on time with that 6 a.m. alarm, so I didn't need to set like 20 alarms every 15 minutes before 6 a.m. I just had, I could set just one alarm and get up instantly. There are three things that I did. Water, sunlight, and deep work. I'll start with the first one, water. When I get up, I never ever sleep with my phone, which you should as well. Never ever sleep with your phone. It becomes a huge distraction that ends up with you scrolling on your phone and keeping you in bed. And also something that you keep doing whilst in bed before you go to sleep. So don't sleep with your phone, don't wake up with your phone. So I have my phone on the opposite side of my room and on with right next to my phone on the opposite side of the room, I have a water bottle. I actually have two because one isn't enough. I need hydration. So I have a water bottle and it has to be right next to your phone. When I'm genuine, when I'm saying next to next to your phone, I mean next to next to your phone. Because if you don't, you won't drink it. Honestly, any time where I put my phone on the other desk in my room, so it's about 30 centimeters away from my phone, but it's still on the same side of the room as my phone, it's just not right next to it. I get up, I walk, I turn off my alarm, and I don't drink water, and I just walk back to bed. That is how much of a difference it makes when you do not put your bottle next to your phone. So have a glass of water, have any source of water right next to your phone on the opposite side of your room. So when you get up and you have to go to that alarm and you press off that alarm, the water is right there, right in front of you. So you drink it. Drink it, put it on your eyes, rub your rub your eyes with water, you know, splash your face, whatever it is. I, I, I do all of that. Drink water first thing. You've been in bed for eight hours, maybe more. Your body is gonna be really, really dehydrated. Anytime that you're in bed and you're comfy in bed, you're awake, you're just under the cov under the duvets, under the covers, and you're like, oh, I'm tired. Even though I'm wide awake, I'm tired and I don't want to get up. You're not actually tired, you're actually dehydrated. Your body's been asleep for a couple hours and you haven't had a single drop of water. Your body is thirsty. So when you drink water first thing and you get some water on your eyes and splash your face, you instantly become way more awake. It is almost like day and night. It is so weird how much water makes a difference. Second thing is I go outside. Now, I now go outside with a book or like my journal where I gratitude journal or a coffee. I do lots of things whilst outside, but the basis principle is the same. You don't have to do all that. If I'm, I'm just telling you three things that will literally get you out of bed and that is go outside. Sunlight. Sunlight is probably one of the most important things to actually get you up. It's, all, it, it's basically your circadian rhythm, which is your internal clock. When your brain starts seeing sunlight, your brain is telling you, all right, now it's time to get up. This is something known as your circadian rhythm. However, I live in England, so a lot of people think, ah, but like there's no sunlight in the morning. I get up and it's cloudy. You know, it's rainy, it's cloudy. If you can see outside and it's not pitch black, then there's sunlight. Even if it's gray, really, really gray, no sign of blue skies, gray, dark, just gray, grim, kind of just not very nice weather, maybe even raining. But if you can see the grass, if you can see the trees, that means there is sunlight. If you are able to see, that is because the sunlight is there allowing you to see. It's lighting up things. So, doesn't matter what the weather is, whether it's rainy, grim, gray, or sunny, blue skies, and hot, go outside, at least for five minutes to get some sunlight into your body. It will allow your brain to wake up, it's fresh air, and your mind will start to think, okay, yeah, it's time to wake up. This is my circadian rhythm, my internal clock telling me, all right, time to get up. And also you've been moving around a bit, so your body's, your body's getting sort of warmed up, your muscles are warming up. And the third one, probably by far the most important one. If there's only one that you take from this video, this is the one that I want you to take. And that is deep work. 
Start work straight away, within the first 10 minutes of your day. I get up at 6am, so I have a lot of time to do things. So was it my work, I start at 9, right? I have 6, 7, 8, 9, I have 3 hours to do things. So I instantly start recording, I start editing, I start scripting within the ten, first 10 minutes of my day. The reason I do this is because this, it basically is almost like a cheat code getting into a flow state. There have been times where I've got, I've got, my alarm's gone off at six. I'm like, uh, groggy, I really don't feel like getting up. I get up, I don't drink water, I don't do anything I just said. I go straight to my desk and start editing. Within five minutes, I'll be wide awake. When I start doing something, deep work, within the first 10 minutes of my day, it's almost like it's setting up my brain. All right, this is what you're doing for the rest of the day now. I don't have to mentally prepare myself. Oh, I've got to go do work. I'm just there, at it, done. So when I do work, deep work, within the first 10 minutes of the day, it basically makes me awake straight away. I don't know why. I don't know the science behind it. Uh, all I can give you is like the bro signs, like it's kind of like activating my brain. I'm starting to like turn on my brain because I have to use it to do something. So I don't know the science behind it. Uh, a, a channel I hugely recommend is Andrew Huberman. He's like a science guy. He's like, he's a full-on scientist who explains so much. I listen to his uh, podcast. They're like an hour long, even longer than that. They're so good. They just explain the science behind things. So I hugely recommend you go check out his channel. This is like the kind of guy that I listen to at like podcasts whilst I'm walking around in nature. And that's it. Water, sunlight, and deep work. These are the three things that I, that specifically target me getting up out of bed. Now there are other things I do. You know, when I get up, drink water, I go downstairs, make myself a coffee. Then I go outside, start gratitude journaling, start meditating, because the weather's really, really nice. So why not? I'll have a cold shower afterwards, starting hot, then go cold. There are other things I do, but that doesn't really wake me up. By that point, I'm already wide awake. Like, trust me, by the, by the point that you're on the second step, where you're outside, you'll be wide awake. You'll be wide awake already. So you don't, like, I, the third one's just, like, to confirm and to actually start doing something. But all the other stuff I do, coffee, that's just to help me get into a flow state. Cold showers, that's to give me sort of basically almost energize my muscles it gives me a big big source of dopamine that's just kind of extra additional stuff but if you want to wake up within five minutes the things that i've just told you will literally if you start doing it tomorrow you will literally be able to wake up at 6 a.m or whatever time you choose 6 a.m 7 a.m 8 a.m maybe you're struggling to even get up at 10 a.m so you'll be able to get up 10 a.m every single time doing this the only problem isn't the actual difficulty of doing it. Doesn't sound like a lot, doesn't sound very hard. That's not the problem. The problem is staying consistent. So keep at it, give it two weeks, and if you're still doing it, huge congratulations to you. You probably just nailed a new new habit, which is gonna stick with you for the rest of your life. I hope you're all right, and I hope things have been good. And I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the one that was gonna pop up in the corner here, because this video could definitely help you out as well. And if you're not subscribed to me, there's a high chance you will never, ever find this channel again. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, self-improvement kiss. Mwah.